you guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Deanna the day that I'm filming this video happens to be a Saturday it's Saturday afternoon for me here and I had a great morning had a really good workout and then my husband and I cleaned up and went to breakfast at a local place nearby here it was lovely and I got my sourdough starter ready to go and I'm excited about that because it's been quite some time since I've made some fresh bread but I love to do it on today's video I want to show you what makes me get a perfect eyeshadow look every single time on my hooded eyelids now if you have hooded eyelids and you enjoy makeup specifically putting on eyeshadow I'm sure you have kind of worked with different techniques and methods and application styles to get your eyeshadow to look really good on your hooded eye. And there's two kind of recipes for a perfect eyeshadow look that I use all the time. So today I'm gonna show you one of those things. To me, it's the easiest and it's the most foolproof as far as just getting a great eyeshadow look. So there's different types of hooded eyes. I have a hooded eyelid, meaning when I open my eyes, you cannot see my mobile eyelid at all. I mean, there's kind of barely a little bit of it peeking through when I open, when I open my eyes and I'm like looking right at you. But for the most part, anything on this whole mobile eyelid right here just disappears. Um, underneath this fold of skin right here. Now this fold of skin doesn't come so far down as to kind of make my eye drag down and it doesn't um, and it doesn't impede on my eyesight at all or anything like that. That would be a very hooded eye when the skin of the hooded eye really comes down over your eye and may even disturb your eyesight. So I would say that I have hooded lids, not necessarily hooded eyes, if that makes any sense. So with that, you know, it's I'm 46 years old. I think it's taken, taken quite some time for me to figure out what really works for me and accentuates my eyes the best and looks that I do. And when I do my eye makeup this way, it always looks really, really good. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you here today. I would say probably in my mid 30s maybe is when I discovered eyeshadow primer, which is what we're going to do right now. We're going to put on our eyeshadow primer and I have never looked back since and I use it anytime I'm putting on powdered eyeshadow. Today I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer, which in my opinion is the best at the drugstore, comparable to any high-end primer. So if you have hooded eyes and you don't use a primer and you put on powdered eyeshadow, any sort of oils uh, from your face that kind of collect, that can collect on your eyelid will ruin that eyeshadow look so quickly, <laughs> which I discovered time and time again, which was my major frustration when I was younger and trying to apply eyeshadow. And so I just want to go ahead and set that. I'm just going to use my little um, bronzing palette here. Just these lighter top two shades. Actually, just one of them. I don't need to use both. Just this kind of mid-tone shade. It's not really going to apply any color to my lid. It really just matches my skin for the most part. And that I'm using to set down that primer because I want the eyeshadow that I put on top to really just glide over that and blend nicely. The method I'm going to be using today is very simple and very quick and such a foolproof way to place your eyeshadow on your hooded eyelids. So the palette that I'm gonna to use today to demonstrate this is my Jackie Ina and ABH palette. This one right here. Let me show you these beautiful colors. I couldn't, I this is one of my palettes that I picked out to use for the month of February and I couldn't not do a video with this palette. It's just so beautiful and I've enjoyed using it this month and so now this palette has some beautiful colors to choose from but I'm gonna go ahead and go with the colors that are kind of in this quad right here. It's a little more earth tone color, a little more neutral, I guess. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna go with is Credit, which is this beautiful 
rich brown right here. I'm using the brush that came with the palette. It's a double-ended brush, a fluffy side, and a more detailed flat brush side. But you could use something like this. If you have one, this is a Sigma brush. Like a flat shader brush right here. I packed it, packed some of that color on and tapped out the excess. And all you wanna do is start at the base. Just go all the way across and just tuck it right here. You don't wanna go all the way up or anything like that. I'm not going up at all. I'm just patting it down and tucking it into that fold of my eye. I'm gonna tap in again and go up farther onto my entire mobile eyelid. I'm gonna cover it basically. And again, just tucking it, patting and tucking it. And this is a pretty dark color, right? Um, and it shows up really well on my skin. And I'm not going past where my, the curve of my eye on the outer corner ends. I'm just tucking it all in there nice and neat. I'm using the fluffy end now and I'm blending it up all the way up towards my brow, pretty far up. Because so as you can see, when I look into the camera there, you can tell that something's there, obviously. It's definitely shaded in, but you can't, when I'm looking straight ahead, you can't really see how dark it is towards the lash line and on my mobile eyelid. So really, you can just blend this out, and it really does look like you have two different eyeshadows where it's darker and packed on here and then I use the fluffy end of the brush or you can use you know a fluffy single brush like this with no extra product and just buff it out and you have a very obviously monochromatic look and I'm not taking it past that where my, the end of my eye is on the outer outer corner there and that just by itself really accentuates my eye but I am going to add a little more, I'm gonna take this orangey shade right here called Ginger, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of it and just blend it all the way up to my brow bone. And then with no extra product on my brush, just blending it. And you can go back and forth in between those two, your two shades as many times as you think you need to, to make sure that, you know, to get the look, to get the look that you that you want, you know, however dark you want that base color to be. And I think that this would work well with a mid-tone shade. It doesn't have to be a dark shade like this one. It can be something a little bit more mid-tone. Then you just apply it in the same way where you concentrate it more heavily on your mobile eyelid and at the base of your lashes there and blend it up and then use a lighter shade or a highlight shade if you want to blend out all the way up. I've done the same sort of thing with a shimmer shade as the base and then a matte shade to blend it all out. And so once you blend it out, you can leave it like that, super pretty, and then maybe apply an eyeliner or some of the shadow on your lower lash line or, or add some shimmer to it, which of course is what I'm going to do. These shimmers in this palette apply really beautifully using your fingertip and I've had success with them using a brush, but today I'm gonna to use my fingertip and some of my NYX glitter glue, which I've talked about over and over again. This product, anybody who applies eyeshadow and applies shimmer or glitter or anything like that, this is like your best friend. There's nothing that annoys me more than having glitter pieces and glitter flecks falling onto my cheeks. But if you use shadows that have glitter in them and you're, you're trying to use a brush or you're applying with your finger, it just can flake onto your face and just not apply and stick. This is going to help you do that every single time. So I use it all the time. Anytime I'm using anything with glitter in it, that's what I use. And if I'm using shimmers, Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, depending on how I want the shimmer shadow to look. If I want it to stand out more, I definitely use this. So I have a little bit on my pinky, but I'm gonna do it all over this mobile eyelid here. I'm gonna go in with this color sponsored right here. It's one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's kind of a, one of those classic blue-brown, blue-green-brown shimmer shades, and I'm putting it right in the middle 
or probably like most of the eyelid. I'm leaving that inner third kind of open. I'm just using my finger to kind of buff out the end. I will also go in and use a brush to help buff that out a little bit as well. And that inner part, I'm gonna use Dwala's, this one right here. What, what shall I use my finger? This one right here. It's like this really cool grungy gold. And I'm putting that in that inner corner and blending it into that duochrome. And then I'm taking the smaller shader brush and I kind of wiped it clean on my little makeup towel here. And I'm just going in the edge of where I put those colors and just doing a little bit of a blend. So you can keep this really easy by using two different matte shades or get a little bit more into it and add a shimmer to your, to your lid, something lighter, something with the same tone to give you monochromatic look. There's just totally different ways that you can do it, but the base of your eye look is the same method every single time. And what you decide to kind of put on top of it is up to you. I always like to put a shimmer over just because I love using different colors and textures of shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. So I have finished the eye look on the other eye. So this is what the completed uh, thing looks like here. And when I open my eyes, here's what you can see. And I just think it's really, really beautiful. I love this palette. Now I always like a smoky eye. Um, and so for my under eye, I'm gonna use my brown eyeliner and do my waterline. And then I'm gonna take a more detailed brush and I'm gonna use the color, the matte color ginger to smudge out the eyeliner. I have a hard time not doing a smoky eye look on on my eyes just because I think it looks so pretty. Because I like to go a little bit extra, I took a little small detail brush and dipped it into that green brown duochrome shade, sprayed it with a little bit of setting spray and just put that on the inner corner of my lower lash line. So now the eye look is done and I need to apply the rest of the makeup of course to finish everything off and everything I'm using, the stuff that I picked out for my February makeup basket. I just did a little bit of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I really, really like. For foundation, I am gonna go out of what I picked for my makeup basket because I recently did a drugstore haul and picked up the new and improved formula of the L'Oreal True Match. And I have the, color, the shade W5, which is considered a warm medium. And this foundation is really, really nice. The way it's reformulated, it has some skincare in it, like hyaluronic acid uh, has been added to it. And it's quite lovely, very easy to apply blended in and stuck to that primer perfectly, no patchiness or anything like that. The color is just right for me. So if you're similar to my skin tone, this would be a good color for you. There is that. Next, concealer. My NYX Bear With Me. I'm gonna start off with a very teeny amount, like a little rice size amount is what I'm using and I'm putting it in between my two ring fingers. I'm just gonna be very careful because I already did my under eye there. I'm just tapping a little bit the outer edge of my shadow there, just a little, and that just like snatches it. You know what I mean? It just really, you can tell, I can tell, I hope that you can tell that it just cleans up the outer edge of that shadow right there and lifts the eye. My eyes don't look droopy. It's just magic. I love to use this Sigma angled brush for concealer. And if you find that you kind of went a little overboard with it and got into what you put on your lower lash line there, you can just kind of refresh it afterwards. I'm really not going anywhere after this. I may film another video. <laughs> for the most part, I'm staying indoors. So this makeup is just to lounge around the house, make my dough a little bit later for my for my loaves. Are you any, any of you out there bakers? If you are, please let me know. I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury for my under eye. It's such a beautiful powder. I get the hype about this powder for aging under eyes. Again, like I said, I'm 46 years old and I don't want the powder to make it look like I have 
lines and wrinkles and crinkles that I don't actually have. And this powder does that. And I found it just as good as my beloved Hourglass setting powder that I've been using for years for my under eye specifically. And this is just as lovely. And it looks so good at the end of the day. And then before I set anywhere else, I'm gonna go in with some of my other products here first. My e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have the color Honey Drip. So for blush, let's see. I did this the other day. I've been loving using my Merit blushes. I just mix the two colors that I have together. Pink, which is Beverly Hills, and then this raspberry color, which is Raspberry Beret. And they set down nicely. They don't stay tacky and they really do last all day. So I had to let my camera rest for a few minutes and during that time I put on one more coat of mascara on my upper lashes and then some on my lower lashes and then I did my eyebrows. And for highlight I'm going to use a liquid highlight which is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand and I have the color A Gleam. This little glow wand is so so pretty. It just gives such a beautiful sort of glass skin effect almost on your skin. There's no glitter, no shimmer. It's so pretty. It doesn't dry down uh, super quick or anything. So you do have time to play with it there. And I just like to take it up my temples here on the nose, even up here, my forehead a little bit. It's such a beautiful glow. Now what I haven't done yet is I haven't set my T-zone area and for that I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and I have the color N4 which is Buff Beige. This powder I had picked up for my 90s makeup video <laughs> and I actually had the wrong shade there. It was a little bit, it was too dark. It was one shade up from this so I recently picked up this this lighter shade and it works much better. For my lip color, I'm also going to use a recent drugstore purchase, which is this e.l.f. lipstick. This is their new line of lipsticks. I believe they're called O Face and this is in the color Drive. Just a really pretty uh, brown, <laughs> rosy brown. It definitely reminds me of one of my favorite lipsticks that I had from Kat Von D or that I still have called Hawkwind, I believe. Definitely reminds me of that. I will have to see if it's a dupe for it. Okay, I think I'll leave in my hair. Normally I would take it down, but I kind of like it with these little clippies and my, my bun looks cute right now. So I think I'm just gonna leave my hair the way that it is. So that's it, we are done. I really hope that you enjoyed this somewhat instructional video that I did for all of my hooded eyelid girlfriends out there. Um, yeah, it's just really simple building blocks, I guess, <laughs> or methods that I use to create the eye looks that I do to help accentuate my eyes using colors that I love. And there's a lot of beautiful palettes out there that you can do the same thing. You don't need a bunch of different colors if that's not your thing. You really just need two different complementary colors that you like and that you feel complement your eyes and your skin tone and maybe a couple of shimmer shadows if you want to add a little extra pizzazz you know it's very simple and there's so much instruction out there for you to follow on YouTube but of course I hope that you enjoyed what I did for you here today and if you did enjoy it please consider liking and subscribing and coming back and checking on what I'm doing here on my channel. So with that, I hope that you go have a great rest of your morning or afternoon or evening or whatever time of day it is that you happened across this little video of mine. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, you are beautiful, you are loved, and you are good, my friend. And until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.